Hello everyone, this is Arkham Native, and I've got a board game unboxing with a little bit of a story here. This is from, uh, actually ordered from Target, and they had it on sale. Let's see if that's, um, well there's no price here, but uh, they had it on sale, and um, the Kickstarter version is in around $50. Um, the uh, Target price is apparently $30, but um, online they've been having it for about a week at $20. And if you'll notice here, this is a, I suppose, a mass um, produced version of the game. It's different than the Kickstarter game. Um, <clears throat> but there's also been some uh, discussions that may be the reason that this first batch is cheaper is because there may be some defects so I'm going to unbox it and we shall see if there's anything any shortcomings um, so let's get to it okay this is the game is Santorini um, it's very similar to the uh, Kickstarter box um, there's a, a sticker on here rather than a Actually, I think, is that on the outside? I'll have to see. No, it's on the inside. And, of course, it has this here. It is uh, age 8 plus and 2 to 4 players. And has a quick how to play. And uh, we'll get into that. So let's go look inside the box and see what we get. I have not opened it at all. Okay. Here we go. The box is slightly smaller than the Kickstarter box, and we know of at least one item that's not in this box. It's still a sturdy box. It does come with the, the base. This, well, it's actually kind of a riser. Here's the board itself. It's very thick. People were saying there may be some wrinkles in here. I can see a little bubble there, but it's not like the end of the world. That's fine. There's no problem there at all. Um, and on the back it says Santorini, which is the name of the game. These punch-outs weren't punched out, but that's fine. That's easy to do. And they sit on top of... This board sits on top of this base. And there had been a separate board on the bottom that gave it a uh, an island overview. Kind of an ocean look. Uh, we knew that wasn't going to be there. And the idea of this game is you stack these items, these to make little towers, onto the board and you stack them up. Uh, these seem to be good quality. I haven't heard any bad information about these to being bad. These are the three parts of the buildings. This is the top part, the domes, and the figurines. We have the cards, which I'll open here. Try not to cut the cards. Oh, cut the cards. Okay. They seem a decent, uh, a decent thickness. The tarot size cards. And these are the various gods that control how you play. <clears throat> Variations to the game. On the back is just the back of it. And then here are the rules. Oh, 
enjoy the first one. We have rules in French and we have rules in English. And it tells you how to set up the board, how you stack the how you play the game, how you stack the blocks. As you see the blocks, as I said, they come in three levels plus the dome. And there's no bottom base to this cliff pedestal. There's instructions on how you set up the game and using these god powers, which I guess are the cards. And then these are the advanced gods. And then the three to four player rules, glossary, and the credits. So. And that's the target version of the game. Um, we have, uh, it looks, mine looks good as far as I can tell. Um, I guess I'm, I don't know if I'm lucky or just people are unlucky to get the other ones, but uh, it does look good. While I'm here, let me give you a peek at some of these little figures. Um, get them all lined up for you. So there's one there. Little these are the little builders. So it looks like we have a little male and female builders. This one with this one has a little ponytail or something in the back. And I suppose that is it. That is Santorini. Purchased at Target for 20 bucks. Probably selling for 30 bucks at some point, but right now still 20. Thanks for watching. Bye.